In this video we are going to present the entire timeline of Monsterverse Godzilla and also his members or to be exact the history of the Titanus Gojira species. We have done a previous video on the entire Monsterverse timeline but with new information from the teasers and trailers of Godzilla vs Kong and also the novelizations and comics even from the upcoming Godzilla Dominion and Kingdom Kong. We have decided now to compile everything and put up a more complete backstory and timeline of only the Titanus Gojira species, the ones that include Godzilla and Dagon and maybe more. So strap yourself up for a journey through time in the monster universe and do let us know about your thoughts on the matter. So let's do it. Roughly 300 million years ago or maybe more than that, the titans which include Godzilla uh, comes into existence. How they evolve is yet to be explained but I suspect that this knowledge will be lost in time. 250 million years ago, a Shinomura landed upon a small island to feast upon the remains of a large aquatic creature. It failed to notice Godzilla and was subsequently blasted by his atomic breath, leading to it falling underground and laying dormant there for millions of years. 250 million years ago, around the same time that the Shinomura was attacked by Godzilla, a meteorite strike hit the earth resulting in drastic changes in radiation levels around the world. This led to the Permian extinction event and the titans going underground to feed on the remaining radiation that lies in there. 50,000 BC Fast forwarding millions of years we reach a time when primitive man had just discovered fire and apparently art and with this they had cave paintings that depicts the titans including Godzilla. 50,000 BC it was probably at this time that Monster Zero descended upon the surface of the planet and this resulted in a battle with Godzilla and Mothra in which the Earth protectors won and Ghidorah was trapped in the Antarctic ice. 30,000 BC, around this time the Chauvet Pont d'Arc cave in southern France has its wall painted by the Upper Paleolithic Homo sapiens depicting a number of animals of which the earliest recorded painting of Godzilla was seen. 30,000 to 10,000 BC Various ancient human civilizations emerged and each one of them lived alongside and worshipped a titan found in their own region and one of which was Atlantis and it had Godzilla as a protector. 1100 BC In ancient Japan the Muto Prime vs Dagon battle took place which led to Dagon being defeated and Muto spores injected into his body which would serve as the genesis of Godzilla 2014 storyline. 1502 AD the Hopfer etching was created in Augsburg, Germany depicting Shinomura and Godzilla. It took many months for Monarch in the present time to extract the part of the etching painting of the two Mutos which are really Shinomura and Godzilla from the Vatican Iscariot organization. 1943 AD The USS Lauren was attacked and sunken by unknown reasons. However, it may be hinted that the US ship was destroyed by Godzilla and the entire crew was killed during the incident but only Bill Randa survived. 1945 AD During the Permian period the Shinomura's body fell into the resulting fissure from the meteorite crash. There it remained until 1945 when it was aroused from his slumber by the detonation of an atomic bomb in Hiroshima and with this Godzilla also awakened to hunt it down. 1946-1952 till 1952, Godzilla and the Shinomura fight around the world. With every successive time, the Shinomura manages to get away from the Big G. This includes in the Philippines in 1946, New Zealand in 1949 and London in 1952. 1954 At the Bikini Atoll, the Castle Bravo nuclear device is announced as a testing exercise but was actually an attempt to kill both the two Shinomuras and Godzilla which results in successfully killing one of the Shinos but in fact empowering the G-Man and this helped Godzilla in killing the other. 1999 Dagon's skeleton was discovered following a mine collapse in the Philippines as with the remains of the Muto spores laid in him. Then Ishiro Serizawa and Vivian Graham would be present overlooking the creature's massive ribs and remains. 2014 The Mutos emerged from their cocoons and resumed their life cycle of mating which included mating calls and this was picked up by Godzilla their enemy and this all leads to the events of Godzilla 2014 in which there were battles around the world and ended up in San Francisco where Godzilla kills both of them. 
2014, the Muto Prime resurfaces and attacks a naval base in Guam, attracted to the payloads of the nuclear submarine stationed there. And then Godzilla arrives to fight it and then the Prime escapes. This happens again and again in Siberia, France and Portugal and ending in Montana, United States with Godzilla killing it. 2015 onwards, Castle Bravo station is created and the Orca device is being perfected as well as tracking of the Titan biosignatures and acoustics started. And with this, Godzilla is being secretly monitored and tracked by Monarch. 2019, with Emma Russell and Alan Jonah in possession of the Orca device, the awakening of the Titans begin, which included awakening King Ghidorah and this led to a battle with Godzilla in the Antarctic and also off the coast of Mexico. Same year 2019, with his near death and revival by a nuclear device detonated by Serizawa, Godzilla makes his way to Boston and battles against Monster Zero and with Mothra's help, he transforms into his burning form and defeats the three-headed dragon. 2019, after the battle and the crowning of Godzilla as King of the Monsters, news clippings show that Godzilla is in fact keeping the other titans in check against destroying human cities and settlements. Also 2019, around that time Godzilla swims through the Pacific Ocean as he is swimming around the world because he is the king of the monsters and the king of the ocean and this reveals that his radiation is in fact bringing life back to the reefs with fish populations increasing in a logarithmic rate. 2020, the events of Godzilla Dominion comics which is a story told entirely from Godzilla's point of view. The graphic novel brings new insights into the king of the monsters his habitats, ancient rivalries, challenges and encounters with new titans in the year before GVK. This includes the rise of the titans against Godzilla. 2020 Events of Kingdom Kong This is another comic that will be released around March and this would center around Kong and the Kamazots but at the same time prepare the ape for a future conflict with the king of the monsters. 2020 till 2021 Although unconfirmed as to which year it will be based on, most likely 2021, the events of Godzilla vs Kong would usher in a new future for both mankind and monster alike. And with that we come to the end of the video. Do like for support, smash that subscribe button and slap 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 that bell button for regular updates on Monsterverse content and dissections of Godzilla vs Kong videos. Till the next one, take care fam.